Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to use your old Windows 10 PC as a time machine drive for your Mac. So before we get started, you're gonna to need to set up your Windows PC as a file sharing device, which basically lets you turn your Windows PC into a NAS. Once you do that, you're gonna click on go, click on connect to server, type in smb colon slash slash, then your device name, click on connect, click okay. Now, as you can see here, I've created a folder named NAS sample as I already have my time machine drive set up. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press command spacebar and you're gonna open terminal, press enter. Then I'm gonna leave the commands that you need to type in in the description. First, you're gonna type in CD desktop, paste that into terminal, press enter. Then you're going to paste the second one. Now where it says this 600G, that is the size of your drive so you can make this whatever you want in this case i'm going to do it as um 256 gigabytes you can do more or less depending on what you need command c once again i'm leaving all this in the description so you can just paste it into terminal command v into terminal now that's going to create basically a virtual drive disk image and it's going to put it on your desktop after that what you're going to do is you're going to open up your NAS. So what you're gonna do is take that virtual image from your desktop, drag it into the folder on your Windows file share NAS, and it's gonna copy it over to your Windows PC. Once that's done, you are going to um, mount it just by double clicking. And as you can see here, we have a new drive named Untitled. Now, what you need to do is rename it and rename it to Time Machine. No spaces. Capital T, capital M, time machine, then you don't that. Now what you need to do is go back into the description and you are going to copy the third line and paste it into terminal. Press enter. It's gonna ask for your password. Type in your password, press enter. Okay, now that's done. You should be able to go into time machine and you should be able to see your drive right here. Make sure it's selected. In my case, it is selected. So now what you need to do is open the script editor, command space, type script editor, open that, and you're gonna create a new script. I've left this in the um, description for you guys also. So let me create a new one here. So as you can see, I have a blank script now and I'm just gonna paste what is in the description. This is the fourth thing in the description. Just gonna copy it, paste. So right here after the mount volume, SMB colon slash slash is where you're gonna put the device name of your Windows PC. And then right here, you're gonna put the letter of your drive on your Windows PC. Then you are going to leave all this, leave the rest of this as it is. All you need to change is your device name and your drive letter. And the folder that you wanna create in your Windows NAS, just name it NAS. I had to name it NAS sample in the video because I already have a folder named NAS and I didn't want it to mess up my current setup. So just make sure you name your folder NAS, you drop the, the time machine sparse bundle uh, virtual disk into that folder. And then you just save this, you save the script, then you go into your system preferences and you go to the search bar and you type in login items. Then you click the plus, make sure you uh, save that script as an application and then you go to your login items and then add the script you just created which will automatically connect you to your windows file share nas and your time machine virtual disk whenever you start up your computer may just make sure that's added then you're good to go now all you need to do is back up your mac and it will save the backups onto your nas and automatically do it whenever you're computer starts up and you're plugged in charging. And that is how you set up a time machine drive on your Windows 10 NAS. 